All right, color schemes. They're a lot of fun because we get to actually play around with a bunch of colors uh, and see what looks good uh, and what fits our branding uh, when it comes to our app design. I personally love the color scheme uh, picking section of the course because uh, it's where we get to really be creative and set up some sort of branding for the company that we're working for. Uh, and so in this case, um, because they've only given us that kind of like green color um, as part of their design briefs, um, in terms of the color scheme, um, of course, they just mentioned use a green color scheme to show the healthiness of the product, etc. So that's why we're going to use this little online tool to come up with a color scheme for them uh, based on a green color that we have. So if you head on over to coolers.co, there's three O's in there. So just make sure you type it properly, coolers.co. Uh, this is a great resource that you can use to quickly generate color schemes for your projects. Once you head on over there, simply head to the start generator and then it will go ahead and put you into this little uh, color scheme generator. Uh, and from here, you can simply hit the space bar on your keyboard um, to go ahead and generate new uh, color palettes that look good together. Uh, and you can use this throughout your project as well. And it gives you the little hex code uh, for each color in that palette. So because we already have one of the colors um, for our app, so if you head on over to XD, uh, I really like this green color that we are using here. So um, if I just head on over to a, one of the, let's say the splash screen here, click the fill, uh, I can go ahead and actually copy this hex code from here, then head back to coolers. Um, and for one of the colors over here, let's say the first one over here, we can go ahead and just double click to edit this color to by pasting in that code, hitting enter. Uh, and then what I want to do is go ahead and click this little lock button over here. So this means that um, this color will stay the same. It won't change as we press the space bar. And then what the website will do is try to use this color to come up with similar colors or um, colors that look good in combination with that color. So now if you go ahead and click space after you make sure you lock this color in, the website will generate a scheme for you. Uh, and then you can go ahead and pick the one that you like. Uh, now, I don't want anything that's too um, different. Um, so at any point, if you like a certain color, you can go ahead and lock it. And then based on that color, you can come up with more colors for your color palette. Uh, but let's go ahead and keep pressing space to see uh, what we get. I kind of like this color scheme over here. I think it looks pretty good. It's kind of monochromatic, uh, which is what I like for this kind of palette over here. So why don't we go ahead and actually use this uh, color scheme over here. We can even go ahead and save this palette uh, by logging in and clicking save. Um, or we can go ahead and export it by copying the URL. And so now we have the URL for that palette. So if you do want to send it to anyone else, or if you do search it in our browser, it will go ahead and bring this website up. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give you a minute here to write these hex codes down if you'd like. If you'd like to use exactly this color scheme, feel free to use your own if you'd like. Uh, but if you do want to follow along with this color scheme, you can go ahead and use this color palette here. Let's take a quick pause and come back in the next lecture to apply our color palette to our project.